yeah hello everyone thanks for joining the call so uh, this session is quickly give update on the the timelines and uh, uh, what we are going to uh, like what we are, what we are going to discuss from sources and the target levels so all those things we are going to discuss so this session is for the migrations and the conversion activities here so as per previous uh, batches also we we went to do the same path here so it's taken the 25 to 30 days for to migrate the uh, all the things and the custom code and everything to the, the target location here so as part of the migration and the conversion so our source patch levels are our source is like a so ecc ecc on sql server so small database we are trying with some data we have here right so then we are moving to the the target so target patch level is called the so yes for hana on hana database 22.0 so this is on the windows platform this is on the windows platform and this will go to the end the the linux platform here this is on the linux platform here so windows and the linux platform here source and the target patch levels so as part of this procedure we are going to follow the ADM 328 is the one of the SAP standard uh, guy, one of the standard book we are following here. So here, the first what we are going to do here as per the steps, if I give the high level steps here, so we are going to do the refresh R, so build the refresh R, so client copy, refresh R client copy from so one of the system so we have the one system where we have the data idocs everything is there so we have copying from that data to so from uh, suppose like existing system to new system existing to so new system here either client copy or refresh so that is what we are going to do first then once the refresh is completed once the refresh is completed on the source state then we are going to only database only os and DB migration, only OS DB migration to the Linux and HANA database here. So HANA database here. So only we are splitting the activities here, not the at a time we are moving from, so uh, ECC to S4 HANA and OS to Linux to OS Windows to Linux and so HANA SQL Server to HANA. We are splitting the activities like a refresh is the one part. Then after that, so OSDB migration, then we will reset back to the previous status, reset to, so previous status, previous status, there is an option to reset it. Once the OSDB migration is completed, so at the end, after some days, so if you go the, if you want to go for the previous SQL server from HANA, there is an option is called the reset option. So that option also we are going to test it, that is called the reset option here. So this OSDB migration, we are going with the some DMO, some DMO. There is a new, new uh, feature that is called the without system update. Normally, previously with system update only we can migrate the database from the so we, uh, some Oracle or Windows to HANA database. But in a recent version of the some tool, we can just go with the some DMO without system update option, we will choose it here. No XML file, no stack.xml file. So that option, we are going to test it here, right? And also reset to the previous status. This is the, the straight forward. So no need to do anything here. But here, while doing the reset option here, only thing is some file, some directory, some directory should be, we have to keep the some directory same as, as is. As is, some directory, we have to keep it here. The fourth one is called the, our actual work is called the, the conversion related activities here conversion activities here so conversion activities means here we will split the fourth activities into the the here uh, like a so uh, readiness check reports so the ready readiness check reports we are going to implement it so then there are the, some notes we have to implement it then simplification item catalog then we are going to choose the custom code migrations then we are going to do the so once everything is done we will start the we will start the conversion we will start the conversion on source then then we will start the conversion on the source here 
So here, starting the conversion on the source is here two options we can choose it. Either in place, in place conversion. In place conversion means your ECC will be stay on the same host, but only database will be changed. ECC in the same host, ECC will be converted to the your S4 and R system. Then on the same host and your database will be go to the your Linux and HANA database. So that is the in-place conversion here. So otherwise we can choose the one more option based upon the, the majority. We can go for the with the system move option, conversion with the system move option here. So here normally if you want to move the systems from on-prem to cloud or any other cloud, so we can use this option system move option here. So here in this space, what will happen here in this space? So your ECC, ECC suppose on ECC on SQL, this is on the, so suppose like uh, some SAP Windows 1 host, Windows 1 host, it's a Windows 1 host, Windows 1. Then when you convert it here, this will go to the S4 HANA on HANA database on so Linux host here. Both will, why? Because it's a system move option. We are choosing the system move option here. So two options here, in-place migration, in-place migration means SAP, SAP ECC on, SAP ECC on Windows only, but only DB will split into, DB will split into, so target, target Linux OS here. DB will split, split into the target, the target, so Linux OS here, target, the Linux OS here, target Linux OS here, right? So that is what we are going to do it here. So this is what we are going to do, but this phase will not take much time. This phase also will not take much time, but the fourth step, the conversion activities will take the lot of time here. So why? Because here there's a lot of the uh, hundreds of nodes we may have to implement on the source systems. They have the some custom code as well here in the, uh, in for your batch, we have the some custom code. We have the some custom data, some custom code. There are a lot of data is there for your batch finance data, sales data is there. So for your batch, I'm going to pull the data as well here. So that's why it may take multiple times and we may face some issues as well. So that's the reason. So the readiness code, simplification item catalog may take very longer times as well. So which means, so overall, I'm expecting this activities should be finished in the, so the maximum, so 30 days. So 30 days, I'm expecting to be finished here. The max, so 30 days expecting to be finished here. So this is the, the uh, overall, the steps, the high level steps, which we are going to discuss here, right? So here, coming to the, here, everybody will get the individual accounts access, but we have to progress it the conversion or refresh, everybody has to put their hands and we have to progress the, we have to, we have to segregate the activities and tasks and we need to progress the activities here. Why? Because some tool, only one system, some tool, then everybody, we have to remotely log into the, that system with individual accounts. Then we need to progress the activities here. We need to progress the, all the activities here. So that's the reason we need to progress the, all the activities here. So that is the reason. So, Everybody, everybody, uh, hands required to complete this migration and the conversions related activities here. Here, one more thing is documentation side. So each and every step, whatever we are doing from from here to and the four three four four steps, everything will be documented. Each and everything we will take the screenshots, screen capturing. Suppose today, maybe I I'm in my free time, I am progressing. Mean I will take the screen capture then. Suppose if you are progressing the some activities, then you can also take the screen captures and you can also progress the some of the activities here. Why? Because we are the central documentation will be the central repository so that everybody will have the visibility to edit it. Then we can progress the all the activities here. So that is what the our uh, uh, way to access the systems here. Why? Because if I give the access to the indiv individually you, for you and one person has to complete the one month, then another person has to complete one month means so one year it will take the complete the everybody will get the but everybody will get the access everybody we have to progress into the one systems so one system everybody we have to progress the all the activities here so that is the so our main so uh, aim to progress the activities here so standards 
then all those things will be discussed here. And also, we'll share the recording video once the session is completed. I will share the recording videos for and also documentations, the related notes, everything will be shared. So, how I have shared for the previous one, similar way I have shared for you as well here. So, previously, so we have we have we have done for the others the class one, class two, class three, and conversion step by step documentations here. If you see the S Corona 2023 conversion latest version, so everything from starting of the some step onwards, so ending of the step, so 100% successfully there is a 120 pages document here. So each and every step we documented, each and every step successfully we documented and the timelines analysis files. So everything we have captured here. Similar way. From our batch also, we'll do the similar things in our steps here, right? So this is the thing here we are going to discuss. And uh, yes, I think discussion. So it's a daily one hour. Our class duration is the daily one hour we will discuss. So starting from Monday, I think, I think tomorrow, Friday and Saturday and Monday. Okay. Starting from Monday, we will discuss. And also, we need to adjust the timelines when we have to discuss this one. So that is the uh, main discussion now to discuss, right? So like, what is your 